Former President Donald Trump now has 10 days to turn himself in after receiving his fourth indictment, this time in Georgia. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis charging Trump and 18 others, including some of his closest allies, with racketeering, calling them, quote, a criminal organization that knowingly and willfully joined a conspiracy to unlawfully change the outcome of the election. The grand jury heard testimony from several witnesses, which included Georgia's former Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan. There's been a lot of misinformation for a number of years, and this is our opportunity to get the real story out. Uh, my hope is that Americans believe us. My hope is that Republicans believe us, uh, that this election was fair and legal. The investigation launched about two and a half years ago after the former president made a phone call to Georgia's Secretary of State to find the votes needed to win. Trump has denied all wrongdoing. His team released a statement saying, in part, that this is taking away President Trump's First Amendment right to free speech. And this is a look at other ongoing legal cases that involve former President Trump. This first is in uh, New York City. Trump was indicted in a case prosecutors said involved hush money payments made to actress Stormy Daniels during his run for president in 2016. Second, the federal classified documents probe. Trump was indicted after classified documents ended up and unsecured at his Mar-a-Lago resort. Third, the federal election probe. Special counsel Jack Smith indicted Mr. Trump for his role in the January 6th insurrection. And there are two other ongoing cases, one surrounding alleged sex abuse and defamation, and another includes fraud civil suits involving the Trump family. And Local 5 will continue to follow these newest updates related to President Trump's latest indictment. Be sure to catch our coverage on We Are Iowa Plus. Now that's available to download on Amazon Fire, Roku, and Apple TV.